This morning, we are hearing the emotional message from the mother of a murder victim on the day that her daughter's killer is set to be sentenced today. Shelly Stamp was killed randomly in her own apartment in Waterbury back in October of 2022. In BC, Connecticut, Jennifer Joez joins us now live from Waterbury Superior Court. And Jennifer, you spoke with Shelly's mom yesterday about what today will mean for her. Yeah, yeah, you know, and today she said it was going to be a really difficult day for her and her family as they face the person, the woman who murdered their daughter one last time at the sentencing hearing. They say that, you know, their daughter was a thoughtful, caring person who did not deserve to die this way. She was left to die in a puddle of her own blood. The woman said, I heard the death rattle and I thought about calling 911. She knew my daughter was dying. She continued to ransack her apartment and her refrigerator and take food. She was looking for more money or things she could pawn while my daughter lay dying on the floor. You can hear the hurt and anguish in Kathy Diverse's voice. She'll be in court today to read her victim impact statement as Heather Anderson is sentenced. Prosecutors say Anderson randomly attacked its stamp in her apartment, breaking in, killing her, and robbing her. Stamp was on her way home from work. She was a paraprofessional working with students with autism in the Waterbury Public School District. Her mom says she also waitressed for extra money. While Stamp's family hoped for a life sentence, Anderson agreed to a plea deal of 30 years in prison with a minimum of 25. I feel like I failed her. I failed my daughter because I didn't get justice. And I tried in 30 years getting out in 25 who knows if things change maybe sooner it's not fair and while this sentencing is happening today the other woman who's accused of driving the car you know that anderson was in to and from that apartment complex she's only facing misdemeanor charges she is not in jail and she actually failed to show up to her last court appearance here in waterbury jennifer jealous nbc connecticut news